Welcome again uh, to this cool, cool video. We're going to answer the question that everybody asks all the time. Or better say, we're going to go against the statement that everybody's saying. I cannot lose weight because of my thyroid, because of my insulin resistance, because of my menopause. And in fact, of course, you can, and you're going to learn how to in this video. Uh, but specifically, what you're going to also learn is that if you do not change your mindset that gets you to feel that way, uh, it's going to be very hard. It's going to be very hard to do it. Okay, so let's jump into it. Um, uh, how can we just summarize this whole situation? It's simple. Um, there is facts. Uh, it's undeniable facts that, uh, and as I'm going to share my screen. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. Let me just paste the Zoom link for those of you that... Uh, since this is an office hours, and for those of you that don't know what that means, means that once in a while, randomly, I'm going to go live into this with Zoom, uh, and you have the chance to come in as I'm finishing my presentation. You, Whether you're a client or a non-client, you can basically ask questions about anything. Uh, you know, let me know if you like ask questions about your own situation, but basically coaching you for free inside this um this time here right it's one of the way that you know my clients get support is one of the way that prospects that want to know more about the program get support and i highly suggest that you utilize them because this is a testing phase for office hours i might or i might not keep it off depending on the people that show up and again um crazy enough people always want stuff for free but as you get this option to get coached for free, you know, a lot, very little people show up in the Zoom. So just take advantage of it. Let's jump into it, right? Um, it's hard, it's harder to lose weight when you have indeed a condition, right? Uh, when I say a condition, I mean a real, true metabolic issue, right? Uh, let me just share my screen as we jump in into this um, this framework here, we know that many people uh, and, you know, everybody's journey looks different, but that we have people that want to be maybe losing, I don't know, 10 kilos. And then we have people that want to lose 20, 30 kilos. And usually when people, you know, ladies over 40 come to me and they say, over four, Jerry, over 40, it's very hard to lose weight. And I, and I say, yeah, that's true. Do you have a real metabolic condition going on? Because if you do, in fact, it's a little bit harder, right? Um, crazy enough, everybody feels like the metabolism is holding them back and they experience symptoms, they experience cravings, low energy, bad sleep. They feel like it's getting slower and slower to see results. And, and I say, do you have menopause? Well, I'm not sure. Do you have insulin resistance? Yeah, I feel like I have. Okay, do you have a lab? Can you see something on a lab? No, I can't. Do you have a thyroid issue? No, I don't. It's like, and then you ask them, okay, when is the last time you worked out? Um, in and on and off, maybe once a month. When is the last time that you went to sleep? Uh, that you went to 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 um to walk? Sorry. Uh, I don't know. Like maybe one, you know, two three thousand steps, maybe once a, a week. Do you drink a lot of alcohol? Yes, I do. Do you have? Do you feel like you're eating good? On yeah, I feel like I'm eating good. But then I snack a lot, right? I'm stressing all the time. The weekends is a mess. I go to restaurant all the time. So basically, everyone wants to pretend like, you know, they have this, this kind of like problem, like menopause or thyroid issue, and then they don't really do the basis, right? And this video is not for those people. This video is for people that actually know they have a diagnosis, that indeed they have menopause or they have something going on. And the reality is that if you do that, if you do have insulin resistance, you have a higher, harder time processing a lot of calorie, a lot of carbs, your lipase, the way that you burn fat is getting slower. If you have menopause or fatty menopause, it, you are, you know, dealing with a lot of symptoms, a lot of more susceptible to cravings, bad sleep that automatically gets you to be in a bad mood. You get hot flashes and those things are very real. But when you say, I cannot lose weight because of those things, you basically allow yourself to believe that this is going to be the reality. And I always use this analogy, and it's the best analogy you know, that you can come up with. 
everybody has played video games when they were kids, right? And there is usually there, there used to be at least now I've no no I haven't played video games forever now, but I used to love a lot of video games. You know, Nintendo was there, Sega Genesis was there. There was a bunch of like things. There was a Game Boy at the time. It was like and it was like 30, 40, 35 years ago. Let me know if you're one of those. Let me, by the way, let me know what video games you used to play. But there used to be a setup. It used to be easy setup. It used to be normal setup. And there used to be a hard setup. And for those that you started with easy and then like you got good and you say, let me just play with normal because then some features unlocked and, and so forth, right? And, and the crazy part was that, in fact, you know, when you used to play hard, it was a lot harder to win. It was a lot harder to get everything done. Um, and as I'm explaining you this, I'm going to open up our foundational website because I want to get a point across later on. I want you to visualize some stuff. And I'm also going to open up, uh, let me just see if I can do that, because I, wa I really want to give you value today. And I want to, you to have a chance to really test, to really test how your your thing works, you know, metabolic speaking and, and, and everything. So basically, when you have something like menopause, perimenopause, insulin resistance, PCOS, you, you name it, you know, name down, comment down what you feel like is holding you back, because I know that there is a bunch of these things, right? A real metabolic conditions. Um, when you have one of those, you are basically forced, you're forced to play with the heart. It's like playing a video game in the heart setup, okay? You automatically start from the harder level. And harder level means like you, it's going to get harder to go to the next level. It's going to be harder to get results. It's going to be much harder to progress. Uh, and But the crazy part is that in, in life, like wh whenever that comes around, like when you used to play a video game, at least that was me, that, that, that everybody's different, but that was me at the time. When I used to be that person, I just played and I just was like, I'm going to get better every single day. I'm going to get better. I'm simply going to get better every single day. Um, yet, the, 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 the funny part is that when you instead are you know, faced with all this situation like menopause, early menopause, um, insulin resistant. You don't say to yourself, I'm just playing with a hard setup and I'm, I'm going to try to get better. You just say, I'm, I'm just going to avoid seeing, I mean, I'm going to try. And if it doesn't work, then I'm basically, you know, I'm giving up, right? And, and this is kind of like, this is like kind of like a crazy situation, right? Because if you, if you see life that way, you basically kind of like, Saying to yourself, like I'm, I'm basically giving my, the, I'm giving an an option. I'm giving like my mindset. I'm setting up my mindset to not succeed, right? And and crazy enough, this is how, this is kind of like the main problem in the first place. And today, right now, I'm gonna show you what I mean. So there is, you know, several frameworks that you can see that that you know you have to ask yourself, what should I really do if I have menopause? But there is a person that says, I don't think I can fix it. And I'm simply not going to lose weight because of th that. And then there is a person that understands that you can still do something. And what should I do? Before you actually asking yourself, what should I do? You have to get the bottom of the pyramid. This is the pyramid of success. You know, there is a pyramid of exercise. We're going to see that for those of you that come into the master class. And then there is a pyramid of success. So crazy that on the bottom of the pyramid, you know, there is not the strategy how to fix metab how to fix insulin resistance. There is not the tactic what should I use intermittent fasting or or I don't know like vegan or I don't know keto. There is not the tools should I use my fitness pal. No, there is like the belief, the action, right? Because the right belief gives you the right action. The principles, right? The principle needs to be there. And why am I showing you this is because if you believe that the earth is flat, despite showing you science that is not flat, that is round, you're simply not going to take the action because you say, well, it's useless that I take action because it's not going to work anyway. 
if you believe that insulin resistance is why you're not losing weight, you're basically going to eat carbs just going to say, oh, I'm just going to eat whatever I want because it's not going to work anyway. If you believe that there was this debate um, in, a, in a podcast of one of my coach um, mentors that I was actually listening the other day, uh, he's also running a podcast. There was a debate about soda versus diet soda and which one is better, right? And there were people actually saying that despite science showing you that not only Diet soda is better than regular soda to lose weight. It's actually better, they did a study, than people that drink actual water to lose weight. Why? Because it gives a taste that sometimes your brain needs a taste. There is this, the bubble that expands your stomach. Therefore, like it's going to create volume. It's going to make you feel, feel more fuller, right? And the crazy part was that some people commented, I don't care about the science. I just know it's bad because of the artificial sweetness, like almost like their belief that they cause causing cancers. Well, I give news for you, right? Artificial sweeteners that are also in regular Coke, that are also in regular soda. On top of that, in the regular soda, you have a bunch of sugar in there. So the debate ver from diet versus regular is crazy that there is even a debate, right? But for people that have the belief that something doesn't work or, you know, they have their own belief that this isn't working, well, then you need to fix your belief. Otherwise, you're not going to get results. You know, this is kind of like a success cycle, right? This is very famous with Tony Robbins. I don't know those of you who know. Everybody's born with a potential, but if you believe that something is not going to work, you're not going to take the necessary action to see the good results. You're going to take some actions. You're going to get some results, but you're going to get bad results. And then you've got to reinforce the belief to say, see, I'm the one that I'm failing all the time. Uh, instead, what about if you change the belief? This goes on the other ways as well. If you believe something can be successful, then your potential grows. You take more actions, you get more results, and then you reinforce the belief that you're actually getting better, right? The second thing is principle. If you want to lose weight, there is no way to go against the law of thermodynamics. Despite whatever diet you want to be using, calorie in versus calorie out still outweighs everything else, despite having metabolic issues. So this is kind of a principle that you need to go after your belief. Then there is strategy, right? Strategy means that, uh, you know, in this case, for, this was made for the, for the master class, the pyramid of exercise, right? Or the pyramid of nutrition, right? Strategy means like, what strategy are we using? Are we using intermittent fasting? I know that if you're in menopause, you definitely, there is a threshold of carbohydrates you're going to need, right? Um, if you're in insulin resistance, it's a lot about timing. It's a lot about chronic um, calorie control. If you are autoimmune disease, there is, you know, elimination diets in there. We need to test what you're intolerant and tolerant to. There is a lot of things like that. Once you understand the strategy and the principle, then there is the tactic. So how, if we know that we need to establish a calorie deficit and we know that we need to have, let's say, 150 grams of carb, how are we going to do that? Are we going to track the food with the tools like my fitness ball? Are we going to just meal prep? Are we going to use recipe? Because whatever tactic and tool you use is kind of going to determine how good the strategy is. But think about that. If you go in my, my fitness pal and you cannot make that happen because you don't have the skill, and then it doesn't work, and then you know you don't have your belief that you're a person that can get results, you're gonna go and you're gonna say, see, it didn't work for me. That thing, intermittent fasting doesn't work. Well, when the reality is that you don't work, you don't are necessarily ready to get the skills to make something work because the person you are, not because the strategy is bad. And I see this all the time. People cutting themselves short, people not prioritizing what they need to prioritize, people always starting something and then stopping, people finding a bunch of excuses. And this is why they end up um, 40 years old, 50, 60 years old, with now a worse body, and worse body not only on the outside, but on the inside that creates a worse physiology that creates all these symptoms like sleeping bad, hunger, cravings, bad mood. And if you have bad habits when you're younger, 
with a with a worse body and worse physiology, it's going to be much harder to get results, and it's going to be much harder to change your perspective, right? And so today we're here to change your perspective. Now, how do you do that? Well, simple. You need to start looking at the right things. You need to start looking at stop looking at the top of the pyramid and start looking at the bottom, right? So there is two distinct points. Number one you need to be able to understand if your body is actually ready to lose weight. And for that, we have a quiz, okay? Um, you should type down below quiz that is going to give you three scenarios. Your metabolism is optimized, your metabolism is close to get optimized, and your metabolism is not ready, okay? In, in any of those scenarios, it's going to be a video of me talking, telling you exactly what you should do. And most of the time, it's going to be organize a chart. Okay, because the reality is that if you don't know how to do it, there is really, really two, two things to do. You're either going to prioritize it and you're going to fix it once and for all, or you're going to start doing stuff alone, you know, getting it back maybe in a year or a year and a half or two, having more issues, having spent more time, more money. And at sometimes when you keep dieting randomly, you're just going to be in a situation that fixing is no longer going to be an option or it's going to be very hard. If instead you know that you can lose weight, right? When you have a issue or let's say a condition like it could be um, menopause or perimenopause, you want to understand, let, let's say that you get some weight loss, but then it stops and, and, and all that. You want to basically understand something that, that not everybody uh, never pay attention to, which is basically the rate of the speed, meaning like how fast should I go, right? How fast should I go? And this is one resource I can give you, okay? This is like inside our, um, it's one thing inside our program, how to track results. And let's say that you want to be losing your 75 and you want to be losing up to, let's say, 60 kilos or 58. And if you go very slow, very, very 20% calorie deficit, this is kind of like what, you, what you're really supposed to get, right? In a half a year, you get 66. In one year, you get to that specific place. Then you can just keep tracking your, you know, you can actually keep tracking what's actually supposed to happen, the average, and what is actually happening. So you know that if you keep tracking every single week or every other week your weight, you're realizing whether or not you're going slower or faster. And that tells you that even though you're going slower, there is a positive trend, right? Now we're only looking at the weight, just keep in mind. If you want this calculator, common calculator, watch the video right now. There is, you're going to have to like go file, create a copy, and then name it, rename it. I'm not going to give access to this based on requesting access. So just watch the video, common calculator, but then watch the video. Um, then if you are inside our program, um, I'm going to show you now a few things inside that website, I always say that the weight is the last that everybody wants to give the importance of a piece of equipment, like a scale, telling you whether or not you're succeeding. And success, progress is never, ever um, measured from the outcome. It's never measured from a scale. Nowadays, the scale don't, don't even measure the weight anymore, but they also try to measure water, fat, and all that stuff. I can tell you that those Tests are a highly, highly um, unrealistic and also very imprecise. Therefore, it's up to you if you want to do it, but there are other ways to measure whether you're successful, right? And inside our foundational, it's simple. Like our foundation, there is, a, there is something that you says you can track results, and this is kind of like the way that you track results. If you're getting stronger, if you're getting more resistance, so you're supposed to take this test now is supposed to be taken in a month. Is a way to know that you're improving. If you do this weight to hip ratio, there is a calculator that when you take measurements and you see that you're improving, you're going from a peer body shape to a maybe a V body shape. You are you actually improving, right? Um, there are and and of course there are the pictures and measurements that you're supposed to take that to know that you're improving. Now, though that, the thing you just saw, that's the foundation in our website. If you want to get that course, right now, I believe it's standing at 97 bucks. There is no support. It's just a course. 
up to you whether you want coaching on top of it or not, but those that's the right information that you need to get for you to actually be able to get some results. Now, I hope this video helps you and you know start by really assessing what you should be doing, but I feel like that's the way to start. Okay, and so comment calculator if you want the calculator, comment um, better over 40 if you want the course, I'm gonna send you over um, the way for you to get in. And then of course, quiz, if you want the metabolic quiz as well. So Jerry here, I'm gonna talk to you soon. Hopefully you have a fantastic Sunday. Bye-bye.